Yeah, you, uh, obviously this was a huge win for you. Just talk about the emotion, how it feels to, to perform like you did tonight. Um, you know, guys, it's something that it was in my head already. Like I told you guys, this is, this is just part of the game. This is, is just part uh, of the strategy that I was, you know, thinking on my head. You know, you put your, your toes in your mind. Uh, I don't see this fight going, going too far. Um, I, I was ready to die or to win tonight. And thanks God I win against a legend, DJ Penn. I talked to him after the fight, and he said, hey, man, no disrespect. This is part of the game. I use it that uh, I use say all the stuff because you know part of the strategy, but no disrespect. I told them, hey, hey man, I, listen, I know it's part of the strategy. You know, we we all do the same thing in different ways. So I'm not mad of you. He's not mad of me. I respect him even more right now. You know, now that I fight him, um, I know he's a legend. You know, he he's just a power, powerful guy, and you know I'm pretty happy to have the victory tonight. Your kicks. Are, I was gonna say your kicks are always a big part of your game, but. Tonight they seemed like they were really effective. Did you did you know that that was going to be your, your main weapon going in, or, or did you just kind of feel it out as it was going along? Yeah. I was trying to feel it out, you know, because uh, I knew he probably uh, can catch me when when I throw some kick with a big old big punch, you know. So I was trying to be careful, feel him out, you know, read him, read his movements, you know. You you put something in your mind, uh, you know, but uh, it never. Sometimes he doesn't go the way that you want, so you have to be careful, you know. Start reading him. His movements and start your, your strategy from them, from from there. So my coach told me, be careful. You know, I know you touch him a little bit, uh, but be careful. Don't pressure him, pressure him too much. Don't go for him because you know he is a legend. He he knows what what is his what he's doing, and he can take advantage of that. So just be careful, respect him a little, and then he's gonna be there. Just believe in your kicks, and then it's what I, it's what I did. You know, I believe in my kicks. I knew my kicks are pretty hard. You know, uh, I knew it. Then whenever he covered the kicks will be true so no, so I you start kicking me hard you know going up and down to the stomach and I start seeing him going backwards and I take advantage of that there was a lot of mystery around BJ coming into this I feel like nobody really knew what, to, what we were expecting from him um, was it was there anything that in there that surprised you once you got in there with him? Uh, not really you know um, you know his power of course he, he got he got me with some some good uh, right hands you know on the left side of my head uh, but I was ready for, for that, you know, I was, I was ready for, for everything. Um, you know, his mental game is, is, is good, you know, but I was, I was ready for everything, you know. I know this, everything that they want to bring to me, you know, I know it's part of the game. So it doesn't want to affect me anymore. I know it's, this is just, you know, part of the game, like we call it. So it doesn't matter whatever they want to say to me, I, I never going to put it on my mind. They don't want to go through this, you know. My mind, I know, I know my mind is strong, you know. Um, like I'm telling you, BJ Penn bring a strategy, I bring mine, you know, and then thanks that I have, I have the win tonight. Do you feel like it should have been stopped earlier? I don't think so, you know, unless with a guy like BJ, um, he's a legend, you know, that when I start punching him in the ground, he, wa he was moving, I saw him moving, you know, so I was actually being careful of him, don't up, up uh, high kick me or grab me with a submission, you know, uh, and I move and I, start, and I start hitting him again, and whenever I see the referee stopping the fight, it was just an amazing moment, you know. Uh, but I don't think I don't think uh, they they should have stopped the fight before. I know you said it, I know you said a couple times going in that you know you know it's just another guy, you know you know his credentials, but it's just another fighter in front of you. Was there a moment when you stepped in there like, oh, that's BJ Penn, or you never had that? I never had that in my mind. You know, uh, I'll I'll respect every opponent as a human being. You know, it doesn't matter who is in front of me. It can be Muhammad Ali, I don't care, you know, I will respect him the same way I respect you and I respect everyone here, you know. I don't, I, why? I don't, I'm not fighting a god, you know. If I will fight in god, I will be like on my knees. <laughs> but no, he's a human being, I respect him the same way I respect you, all of you and all of the people. Have you put in your, into perspective yet what this performance means, you know, big stage, big opponent, big name, and the way that you fought, like, what does that mean for your career going forward? Uh, for me, personal, uh, it means a lot, you know, being a legend like BJ Penn. Um, but I, I don't know where, the, where this fight is going to put me, you know. Uh, I just want to wait and see what the UFC wanna, wants to bring next, you know. Uh, like I told you guys, I'm not the kind of, of fighter that I'm going to ask for a guy next. You know, I'm, I'm just not that kind of guy. Uh, I'm different, you know. Uh, different kind of animal, like I told you guys. So whatever the, unit, the UFC wants to bring next, I'll be ready for it. You know, I'll, I'll always prepare myself to fight the best 
in the world. So whatever they want to bring next, I'll be ready. I know you don't want to call out anybody or say a name, but just in, in after a performance like this, do you feel like you should be fighting you know the top five guys in the world, top eight guys in the world? I don't. I don't really care. Whatever the UFC wants to bring, I'm, I'll be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how does it feel to fight here in Arizona, with, uh, a state with a large Latino population? Oh, it feels pretty good. You see, like, all the people was, like, I think it was, like, kind of, like, half and a half. And then at the end, it was, like, going to my side a little. I, I feel it, you know, you can feel that energy, you know. Uh, I try to to enjoy this moment uh, more than other fights. I was looking around. I was feeling the people. I was feeling the energy, you know. Uh, you got to enjoy it, bro. You got to enjoy it. You got to feel it. You got to let your body feel that energy, you know, that it comes through the people to you. And, um, you know, give that to the people, too. It does, you can... You cannot use being there afraid. You know, you gotta go there and perform. You gotta go there and feel. You gotta go there and show the people who you are. You know, and then the people is gonna hug you, like just like they did. And you know, every time since the beginning, they they have done. Those those fans that you went in, were those fans or did you know them? Well, like from my hometown, uh, they drive like 30 cars. Like it's like my friend. Uh, with Ramon, who was in my car, and he say um, he knew 250 or 270 guys that had come from my hometown and just driving in cars. So plus the people that is flying, plus the people that is, you know, you know, we're built because of the border, plus the Hispanic people here. So it was like a lot, a lot of Hispanic people. Of course, a lot of friends come this time, you know, sometimes they, they, they cannot go farther or, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, expensive, especially with the market you know, on my uh, wonderful Mexico right now, you know, and the, the gas, gasoline is stopped going up and the dollar, you know, but, uh, you know, I really appreciate all the people that is doing, you know, the best for coming here, coming here tonight. And, uh, you know, I feel like uh, I can be that guy that they look up to, you know, I, I want to give them hope, you know, then uh, we can get better, you know, uh, we can get better. I mean, you, you were in there, you, you felt his strength and his speed and everything. Do you feel like BJ should come back, or do you feel like this should be the end for BJ? Hey, I don't know, man. It's, I cannot say that, bro. I, I, I cannot be the one picking that up. You know, it's, it's part of his life and his career. It's up, uh, it's up to what he wants to do, you know. I feel him strong. I feel him strong, you know, but it's up to him. It's up to him what, what he wants to do next.